What we do know, Dave, is that two children died at this apartment complex behind me, trapped in a burning van. How exactly that happened, we're told, is still under investigation. But so far, Metro Police say this appears to be a terrible accident. A memorial filled with flowers and stuffed animals sit at a spot where two young children lost their lives inside a van that caught on fire Saturday night. Yeah, big fire. What's big fire? Fausto Reyes shows us these pictures he took of what's left of a gray van that went up in flames in the parking lot of the Arcadia Palms apartment complex where he works. I tried to, to see what happened. Some man is here, right? Mm -hmm. But the police say, no, no, you go back. Go back. Metro police say a one-year-old and a three-year-old died after being trapped inside that burning vehicle. Authorities would not say if the kids were boys or girls. They would only say it was another child who started the blaze by accident. Reyes told us during the fire he saw a mother screaming and crying before breaking the glass of this apartment window now boarded up. The mother tried to cut it herself. She said, no more, I don't want to leave no more because my, I got no more kids. A Clark County fire official stopped by the apartment Monday. He would not go on camera, but when I asked him how exactly this fire started and where the parents were at the time, he would only say an investigation is still ongoing. She was a good parent. I believe so. Neighbor Tatiana Parker says that yeah. she feels for the mother whom she's met in passing. She says when you have young children, you can't be too careful. You can't get take your eyes off your kid for a second. Anything can happen in a blink of eye. And we're also learning today some new information that these two kids who died may have been cousins. One woman who stopped by today at the apartment, she said that her two daughters were the ones who lost the children in this fire. That's all she would say. We're trying to get more information from her, but she said that right now the family just needs some privacy. For now, reporting live, Patranya Poonswan, 8 News Now.